at it, and we won't do it anymore the way they want it done. We'll affirm our unity in our diversity, our freedom, our love. Remember that sign we learned? It, our fist can be a fist or it can be an I love you. Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court, we have a fist or we can say I love you. You have said to us that it should be a fist. We will not accept second-class citizenship. We will not accept second-class humanity. We do not... There are only so many times we will peacefully assemble, Mr. President, Mr. Governor, Mr. Jesse Helms, Mr. Ed Meese, Mr. Jimmy Swigert, Mr. Jerry F Mr. Lyndon LaRouche, Mr. Pat Robertson. This is a revolution, and it's up to all of those names and all of those titles that we mention whether it remains a peaceful revolution. But we are king that it is to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. I don't know what course, I don't know what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Bad Judgment Day, Justice O'Connor, Bad Judgment Day. John Paul Jones said, I have just begun to fight. Let's begin to fight. There are people out there there, hold up your buckets. There are people out there with buckets. If you feel that you want to help, if you want to put in something in those buckets, do it. We're going to pay the expenses of this rally to tell this justice and all those justices what we think, and then we're going to divide the rest between two revolutionary organizations. National Gay Rights Advocates and Mobilization Against AIDS. Just the buckets, just the buckets with these three labels on them. Anybody else is making a private collection. There are also some people circulating with clipboards. Gina O'Leary has asked me Friday evening at the Women's Building at 8 p.m. where you can learn about maybe the next step in the revolution. Peaceful civil disobedience. On these microphones and then going home and accepting the second class. As you make whatever contribution you want to make, would you say with me, give me liberty or give me death? Hotel. 
you're hearing from a bunch of lawyers, but I, I, I came out in this town as a night auditor at the San Francisco Hilton Hotel. And I want to say, I want to say, if we had police check in on what goes on in those bedrooms with all of those conventioners from Georgia and Texas, that place would be empty in 30 minutes. of American citizens. It was acknowledging the rights of bigots to define second-class citizenship in a way that reaches into the most private of all human activities. I say it is a scandal in 1986 that not only lesbians and gay men, but all women are still having to fight for the right to make the most private and personal decisions about their own bodies and their own children and their own feelings. ...interests that must be served. And I know there can't that by doing what the Supreme Court has done, when there is a cost, when there is an issue to, between individual freedom and bigotry, the court. I want to forget about the Supreme Court a minute and say something to my fellow lesbians and gay men. And please do not measure our movement by what Sandra Day O'Connor has done, or by what Lyndon LaRouche has done, or what Dannemeyer is doing, or anything else. I am tired of reading all this crap in the paper that it's all over for us because of what these people are trying to do to us. Please measure our movement by your own anger, by your own determination to make change in the society, by your own belief in what we are doing. The anti-LaRouche campaign, which is now no on 64, folks, all of us are very much aware that our community is going to produce the most impressive outpouring of political unity and determination that this state has ever seen, and we are going to find support from every position in this state. <laughs> Fundamentalist religious dogma supports an otherwise hopeless case has left the Supreme Court's decision as other people have told you, is completely inconsistent with the development of American law and constitutional freedom over our country's history. It's for intrusion, a license for harassment. It's an incitement to bigotry. And after I read the decision in the paper, I realized that Warren Burger would really prefer to outlaw homosexuals. But history has taught us throughout our history that despite all those efforts over time, no legislation can stop a people's efforts to realize and fulfill its most basic human dimensions of who they are. But since they can't declare homosexuals illegal, it's Elie Wiesel who said in a different context, how can you declare a person illegal? The court has given its blessing to oppressive laws which strive to ban particular acts which are associated with homosexuals. The awareness of injustice that did and liberation in Egypt which nurtured and kindled the hope of liberation for slave and abolitionists alike. About of a loving creator who accepts and welcomes and <laughs> many people, many people are I'm going to allow them to think those thoughts. I'm going to allow about using the power of the state 
to take our tax money, to take our co compliance as citizens, and use the power of the state to destroy our community. And that's a fundamental change. Now, is that the Supreme Court says, let the police go into the bedrooms and use the power of the state. We're going to use the power of government to go in and put people in camps. That's a fundamental change in the level of attack against our community. And we're the people that have to draw the line and say no. I, 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 find, I find that I am not, strangely, given the forces against us, extremely afraid. But I find that I am extremely angry. And when I think about that, I remember the last time that I tried to comply with what this society was saying I should comply to. And that was when I was in the closet. And they were saying to me that I couldn't love people, and I thought I was the only faggot on earth, and I thought that I was all alone, and I thought that there was something wrong with me, and I will never, ever comply with those forces again. should register to vote thinking about people leaving their jobs to work in this campaign. We should be people thinking about people donating their entire savings to work on this campaign. We should think about people taking their vacations to work on the campaign against LaRouche, against donating all available income, against taking sabbaticals from school, about selling the second car to beat this campaign, because we are the people that must win this battle. I wish I, I could...